I can't believe I've interviewed all of these amazing people. You get to see today Dr. Paul's shelf of fame. Great results begin with great conversations. I've been podcasting since 2007 and I have interviewed hundreds of inspiring people. I get to highlight 10 of those for you today. Before I share with you some of the amazing people that I've had the opportunity to interview, I want to introduce a concept to you. It's called the human treasury. I believe that every solution to any problem lies just a conversation away. If you can connect to the right people who know the right things, it can change the game forever. My human treasury gets stored on my shelf of fame. Let me show you what I'm talking about. In my office is a bookshelf. On that bookshelf, I have placed only books from people who have been on my podcast, Live On Purpose Radio. Over the years, I've accumulated quite a human treasury there on my shelf. Now, their books are amazing and insightful and helpful, but what I want to highlight today is the people behind the books and how they have become part of my human treasury. Like this one. On my shelf is a book called Hard Easy by Art Coombs. I actually have three of Art's books on my shelf of fame. He's been a friend and an associate of mine for over a decade now as we've gotten to know each other's thinking and he has shared his brilliance with you on my podcast. When Art is ready to start another book, I usually get an invitation to his office for a little mastermind brainstorming session where I get to contribute and comment on the things that he's working on. In fact, many of his books, you'll see an endorsement from me, Dr. Paul. Or this one, Dan Clark, The Art of Significance. Like many of the people on my shelf of fame, Dan has written other books as well. Why I wanted to highlight him today goes back to something I heard him say years ago when he was giving a keynote presentation. Dan is a Hall of Fame speaker. And as I was listening to him speak, I heard this, speakers change lives. And it got inside of my heart and mind in a way that I had to become one of those. A speaker who has the mic and the platform and the opportunity to change people's lives for good in meaningful ways. Dan has certainly done that for me and has become a close personal friend of mine through the National Speakers Association. Dan Clark is part of my human treasury. One of the fun things about having a human treasury like this is that I get introduced to new people who get to be on my human treasury. Years ago, I was interviewing Kevin Clayson, the author of Flip the Gratitude Switch. I could say a lot about Kevin. One of the things that Kevin did for me is that he introduced me to Bob Berg. Bob is the co-author of this brilliant little book called The Go-Giver. Together with John David Mann, these brilliant men introduced an idea to me that was completely innovative when it comes to sales and marketing. I got to have breakfast with Bob Berg the day he was inducted to the National Speakers Association Hall of Fame. What a choice experience for me to add this brilliant man to my human treasury. Next up, is Brad Barton. Beyond Illusions is a book that had particular significance to me, not only because of the brilliant content and the ideas that are shared in such a humorous and relatable way, but because of the creative editor. Thomas Cantrell was the creative editor for Beyond Illusions. I had already become friends with Brad Barton through the National Speakers Association and some other conversations that we had had before. I called Brad and I said, Brad, tell me about Thomas Cantrell. Brad told me about this man who had transformed his ideas into the powerful book that now sits on my shelf of fame. That led to a conversation between me and Thomas Cantrell, who became the creative editor for my first book, 
pathological positivity. The human treasury reaches far beyond a simple conversation on a podcast and has lasting implications for what we can do as we move forward. You know, I just realized as I'm sharing these brilliant people with you from my human treasury, the books that they have written are also profoundly impactful. I've put together a summary, just a quick one sheet of 10 of these books that have been particularly meaningful to me. I'll put it in your inbox for free. Just go to the URL on the screen, drpauljenkins.com slash best books. What you'll get is just a quick introduction to my top 10 favorites and that list changes from time to time because it depends on what I'm reading or who I'm talking to. But go grab it, drpauljenkins.com slash best books. You're welcome. Next up is Jody Moore, Better Than Happy. I'm so glad that Jody Moore is on my shelf of fame because about a year ago I hired her to do some coaching with me and on my business so that I could clear up some of the... Did you see anything? So that I could clear up some of the head trash that goes on in my own mind. Talk about a human treasury. As Jody and I have gotten to know each other, we have also been able to collaborate and support each other in the powerful messages that we're trying to share with the world. I've been a guest on her podcast. She's been a guest on mine. She's even collaborated with me here at Live On Purpose TV to provide some of the content that you get as a subscriber here on this channel. Next up from that shelf of fame, Kevin Hall. The book Aspire is all about the power of words. I was introduced to Kevin Hall by another member of my human treasury. Do you see any patterns here that are emerging? Stephen Palmer, lives in the same town that Kevin Hall does. I was visiting with Stephen and his family in St. George, Utah, and I got to spend the night in their guest room. He introduced me the next day to Kevin Hall, and I didn't know this man before, but as I had an opportunity to sit with him in his own living room and discuss the power of words, it turned my mind on to a number of things which led to other decisions that I made to connect with other people. Do you see how this goes? You use your human treasury to increase your human treasury. And Kevin Hall is a great example of that for me. As I was thumbing through some of the books on my shelf of fame, this one caught my attention for a whole different reason. Roughing It Easy with Diane Thomas. Diane is a hero from my childhood. Let me tell you what I mean by that. She was a television personality who regularly appeared on the Johnny Carson show, The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, as well as other local or national television shows to share her brilliance about roughing it easy. Little tips and tricks and hacks that you can use when you're camping or out in the woods to make it more fun or more practical. I remember my mom watching an episode where Diane was presenting how to boil an egg in a paper cup on a campfire. I didn't even know that was possible, but there she was doing it right there on TV. Years later, I had an opportunity to meet Diane at a meeting for the National Speakers Association in the Mountain West chapter. And as soon as I found out who she was, now much later in her career, I knew that I wanted her on my mic and on my shelf. Diane Thomas is part of my human treasury. Sometimes we get an introduction to the people in our human treasury from unexpected sources. I remember when my daughter was 10. And in her school class, they were reading a book called The Fred Factor by Mark Sanborn. My daughter came home from school and she said, Dad, have you ever read The Fred Factor? It's exactly the same kind of things you teach. And I'm like, oh, that's sweet. I should probably read that sometime. And I kind of brushed it off. Well, a few days later, she comes home again and says, Dad, have you read The Fred Factor? She was reading it with her class and it was turning on the lights for her. She was seeing some things that she knew I would be interested in. 
She persisted until I finally bought a copy of The Fred Factor and read it just to satisfy her. As I read the book, I saw exactly why she wanted me to read it. Mark Sanborn is brilliant in the way that he presents doing an ordinary job in an extraordinary way. Go read it. It's a quick read. But here's what happened after that. I posted on Facebook or LinkedIn or wherever it was that I had just read this amazing little book called The Fred Factor and how I liked it. Within about an hour, Mark Sanborn, the author of this book, replied to my post. We had a conversation. Eventually that led to Mark being on my mic at my podcast, Live On Purpose Radio. And we've since become friends and colleagues. I get to see Mark about once a year in the convention that we both attend for the National Speakers Association. What a brilliant man, and thanks to my daughter, he's in my human treasury. Talk about unexpected sources. I'm sitting there minding my own business when I get a message from my assistant that Stedman Graham had requested to be on my show, Live On Purpose Radio. And I'm like, Stedman Graham, who's that? My wife, was rolling her eyes. Vicky has been a fan of Oprah for I don't know how long, and she has heard Oprah Winfrey refer to Stedman. Her Stedman. This is Oprah's main squeeze. I didn't even know that. But he's also a brilliant man who talks about identity leadership. And I got to find out from him personally what identity leadership is all about, as Stedman Graham and I spent some time together on my mic at Live On Purpose Radio. Your human treasury can expand in amazing ways when you open up these conversations and being open to new people coming onto your human treasury. I think I got time to share one more with you here today. This is Portal to Genius and also The Jackrabbit Factor, both books are in the same cover. Portal to Genius is written by Leslie Householder and Garrett Gunderson, who are both in my human treasury. Leslie Householder was giving a talk in a local venue. I had heard that she was there. I had already read the book, The Jackrabbit Factor, and I was so impressed with the way this lady thinks. So I showed up for her speech. The timing, unfortunately, was such that I had to leave for my own engagement just before I knew things would be wrapping up there. Well, Leslie was getting to the end of her talk and I was really enjoying listening to her. I slipped out of my seat and moved up toward the front of the auditorium where there was a door in the hall looking in at where the speaker was and I just waited for her to finish. I knew that I didn't have very much time before I needed to head out for my engagement. She wrapped up, I slipped in immediately. I walked right up to Leslie Householder and I shook her hand and I said, thank you for being part of my human treasury. I will soon be part of yours. That's what I said to her. She looked at me kind of like, who are you? And why are you talking to me like that? I said, just remember Dr. Paul, I'm going to reach out to you and it'll all make sense then. I reached out to her, I got her on my podcast. Leslie has since become a friend and a colleague that is a valued part of my human treasury. You can see that I'm really excited about my human treasury. Remember to check out the podcast, Live On Purpose Radio, and I promised you earlier to highlight in more detail some of my favorite books. Go to drpauljenkins.com slash best books, and I'll give you my current list. It changes from time to time, so stay tuned.